Now let's discuss what happens in Act 4. Now in Act 4 of Hamlet, there are three scenes in total. So scene one begins with after Polonius dying and Hamlet leaving, we learn that Ophelia slowly becomes mad. She descends into madness. However, in contrast to Hamlet's feigned disposition, his antic disposition, which seems to have some kind of method, according to what Polonius says, Ophelia's madness seems quite genuine. And at one point we find that she has completely descended into madness when she begins raving to the king and queen and ultimately she decides to commit suicide. Separately, we also learn that Laertes has found out that his father has been killed and he returns in a massive rage in order to avenge his father. So he returns and he's ready to seek revenge and kill whoever is responsible for murdering his father. He is totally inconsolable, but he's also in a massive rage, which of course contrasts Hamlet, who has not only learned about his father, what happened to his father and the betrayal towards his father, but he still seems really hesitant. In fact, he's now departed to England. Now, in Act 2, essentially, or rather in Act 4, Scene 2, Hamlet, when he's on the trip, discovers, of course, the plan to kill him. So whilst he's on the boat, he discovers that the, uh, Claudius has planned to kill him. He escapes and he leaves his two friends, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, on the ship and they do face their death there. Separately, uh, Hamlet, once he escapes, he returns to Elsinore to also seek revenge okay so there's now two people coming back to Elsinore seeking revenge really really angry then in scene three we learn that Claudius finally meets Laertes and Laertes is in a massive rage and Claudius of course at first is really terrified that Laertes will do something to him however he calms him down and he convinces him that it's Hamlet who killed Polonius and it's Hamlet whom Laertes needs to direct his revenge towards and ultimately kill. So Claudius and Laertes hatch up a plan to kill Hamlet and Claudius essentially tells him that they should have a duel basically fighting with swords and Laertes should challenge Hamlet to this duel and they decide to poison the sword that Laertes will be using so that if he stabs Hamlet he will be killed through poisoned. However, separately, in addition to poisoning the tip of the sword that Laertes is going to use in this duel, Claudius also decides to put ha poison in Hamlet's drink in order to ensure that Hamlet will definitely be killed and finished off. So that's really what happens in Act 4 and this is now where everything really accelerates and we kind of are propelled as the audience towards this tragic ending.